bit I just had. I had 135 years to life. That's the longest bit I ever had in my life. I never think I'd be right here talking to you right now, man. I yeah. thought I was gonna die in there, man. But when the laws start to change, I'm like, whoa, I got action to get out. So I'm sitting in a prison. I went to the level four, uh, Salinas level four. Then I went to the 180. Then I went to a level three. I made it to a hard 19, level two. <clears throat> I stayed out the way. I would have a mishap, but I have to be the bigger man. Like, man, I'm trying to get out. If I start fighting in here and stabbing prison, I'll never see the streets again, you feel me? But I'll take all my kids, my grandkids, my family, like, man, I got to work my way out some way. You feel me? So I waste a lot of money in, in prison, too, while dealing with these little jailhouse lawyers, acting like they know what the shit they're doing so they can, like, get paid or get some money or something. I don't, I mean, it was, like, crazy. But um, the longest, I went to uh, Lancaster Prison, and uh, I started taking all these classes and and... And doing my little job, man, I was trying to get in every class I could. That has showed them uh, I don't change. I, I uh, rehabilitated myself. I ain't the same person no more. You know, so I started to taking every class I can. And um, that what got me out today. So when I went up north to Folsom, I couldn't be a Folsom because I had wore a brace on my, on my foot. So they took me to Solano Prison. And, I met this dude with his brother named Kiata. He's from up north. And man, he got on my case and helped me, helped me, helped me. See what I'm saying? We became close. We used to train together on boxing and everything on the yard. And a lot of people used to be hating on me in here because he was from up north. I was down south. So they be like, his up north told me, he's like, oh, why you hanging with that nigga? You know what I mean? He's from LA. You know, he's like, but Bo a real nigga, though. See what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with Bo. He's a real nigga and shit. So, you know, me and him came close. And, you know, he be calling me right now in the day. So I'm saying, he and, um. Is he still locked up? Yeah, yeah, he been down 38 years. But he's still fighting and trying to get out. So he down in the county jail, Mateo or some shit like that up north. He in the county jail right now, going down from court trying to get out. I talked to him about two weeks ago. He told me he'd be out in a minute. So we had a talk about helping people getting out of jail, cause a lot of innocent people in jail, or oh, got some bullshit, got life sentence, but um, he want to start a paralegal thing, and whatever they can afford, uh, he want to work on that case. He said he ain't trying to juice them, cause a lot of black people ain't got money like that to get a lawyer. That's why a lot of people in jail. So he, he got a good heart, you know, he want to help people get out. Like he said, whatever they can afford, you feel me? But I was down with that, Standing there 15 years and it was what a was this charge? Uh, this charge I was in now for carjacking, robbery, and assault. I oh, mean, that's what I was in prison for and shit. They gave me so many 25 alive. I said, damn, I should have some bodies. You feel me? So how did you get out? What did you, <laughs> you do to get out? Uh, I put in for uh, 483 and uh, um, I forgot the other law, but it didn't work. So the whole time I was in the county jail, I'm like, damn, I might have to go back to the pen, right? So my lawyer said, well, they got a new law coming out on um, Proposition 600. He just waiting on that to kick that kicked in, then I can get out. <clears throat> so I said, man, I hope. So January it kicked in. This year it kicked in. And um, that what got me home. Do you know what, what it was saying? What was the... Uh, it was oh, by, I ain't got to go through no jury. No, it was up to the judge to let me out. So the judge looked at my conduct in prison. Okay, he stayed out, he got all these certificates. And they call a lot of toy crime I would get for COs. That's me, your behavior in prison. You ain't been in no trouble, you doing good. I like to see him all out, ooh, ooh, shit like that on the chronos. So they wrote me, every CO I knew, I asked them for one. So I can get out of jail. I like, man, they say, yeah, you been out the way, you been going through little stuff, but you handled yourself, you know? So a lot of them put in some word for me to get out. So the DA seen that shit. He said, I'm fond of this. This the type of stuff I want to see from a correction officer about them. See, a lot of people coming down for prison record messed up. They stab and they fight niggas and they ain't getting out. But they think, they be talking about, well, when in prison, it don't matter if you go to court. I said, why I don't? I say, they look at that shit, man, your record. Even before I got out, 
the judge said, well, I'm gonna see what he been doing in the county jail. I'm like, well, I ain't been doing, I'm good. You feel me? I just been kicked back. So they check on everything to see how your behavior is. As long as you clean, you got action to get out. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like- So you fresh out. <clears throat> yeah, I'm fresh out. Tomorrow I'll be out two months. Mm, yep. That's crazy. So how it feel? How does it feel? Man, it's lovely, man. I've been eating up every restaurant. <laughs> 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 I've been eating for real. I've been going to all the restaurants. I've been going to the beaches. Places I want to go, I've been going so long. So I, I, I'd have been to Vegas a couple of times. I've just been going places, man. I've been all up in Valley Hills and the Hills and uh, Malibu, all that shit. I've just been everywhere. You What's some of the me? biggest changes you see out here from 15 years ago? Uh, new, a lot of new buildings. Stuff that look familiar to me, like especially Inglewood, all that stuff that the SoFi and the Clippers and all that shit, all that shit that they got the big old like screen shit on the streets, like damn, all that. It's like I even got went to the movie with a recliner chair, and I'm like, wow, this shit crazy, man. I'm like, oh, been lovely out here, man. It's like you just have to stay out the way, man. See what I'm saying? I'm older, so you know, I I, I been left that. I closed that chapter in that game life, so I'm trying to be like an entrepreneur, you know? I'm out here trying to push my, my clothing line. I'm out here trying to like stay on positive things. Again, I'm finna start back another nonprofit, you know, helping with the youngsters, you feel me? And hoping I get a charity and go help the homeless. I've been mean, giving, giving shoes away and clothes to the homeless, man, when I'm out there, man, just, I've been seeing a lot of people out there with no shoes on. I tell them, pull over, let me give them some shoes. I, people be, I be telling them, people be throwing away shopping, I mean, let me have them, because since I've been in traffic, they, they doing bad out there. I see tents everywhere, so you can't, help them by like really talk they ain't gonna listen they gonna keep doing this so i just give them stuff yeah. see what i'm saying hoping they get their life together or something you know uh you know they don't want to talk when i ask them, man what made you get out here you know what i mean why are you people say all these jobs out here why you ain't got no job or nothing man i mean some have mental problems and you know it's just like i feel bad for them then again sometimes i don't because they grow on you feel me but I try to help as much as I can, you feel me? Because that's in my heart. I like helping people. That's why I want to start me another nonprofit and help the kid, keep them out of jail. And all the lifers I know that's out right now, I done talked to a few by when I start the nonprofit, we talk to the kids, tell them, I give them my testimony, our story, because they had life too. See what I'm saying? And how much time, I had more time than all of them. I had a hundred some years. They had like 25 to life, 30 to life, stuff like that. See what I'm saying? But I want them, you know, that if they need somebody to talk to, we somebody to talk to. Cause a lot of the kids got single parents and they ain't got no father and, you know, and uh, they look looking for like a father figure or a big brother, you know, to talk to, to help them. But I want to keep it on a positive level with them and let them know where I come from and what I've been through and hopefully everybody experience, give them their experience, what they've been through. They don't want to live in that place because prison has got bad, county jail is worse, you know what I mean? So, um, before you get out, do you already have a vision kind of for what you would do if you did get out or did it just kind of come of you just putting together the line, the clothing line, coming with the nonprofit and everything after you kind of start to see some light? No, no, no. I was working on my clothes line for prison. I met this girl and she started helping me. She got, she um, got my um, business, um, she got my trademark number, everything, pat, everything. I'm doing this for prison. My first shirts I got made with the berry on them. I ain't got on it, but they sit on my clothing line. And my first shirt I had my sister to make for me. And so I'm trying to push from jail. I said, well, if I could just sell something, maybe I'd get the money to hire me a lawyer. So I would try to every angle, try to get some money. So I'll try to get me a lawyer so I get out of jail. So uh, that didn't work. So the woman I went now, she was like, she was putting in work for me fight for me hard. And uh, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be all right now because she did put in all the work. And the judge say, told her she the one did everything to get me out. They didn't have to go get my, my case file. Now she had everything. 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's how I got home. By her helping me get out. 